Hey guys, so today I am doing a updated weight loss video and in this video I'll be going over all the questions you guys asked me about what I eat, the loose skin, how I feel, everything like that. I also did record a couple meals that I made that I will just put at the end and I will also show some more examples at the end as well just from my Instagram stories in case you are not seeing them daily on my second Instagram where I post all that kind of stuff. So it has been about a full year since I really started being serious about losing weight. One year ago I was 230 pounds and now I am 127 pounds, so 103 pounds-ish. I'm not going to reiterate stuff that I've said over and over and over in this video. This is an updated one. So if you want to see me talk about, answer questions about my lipo and everything like that, please go watch those videos. Also, if you think that lipo was the only reason I lost the weight and don't think I put in any other work outside of that, then I don't know what you're doing here. So I will link the weight loss playlist down below. The videos are pretty lengthy, but if you are really, really serious about wanting to lose weight or get healthier or just want to be a better you or whatever, then I suggest you watch those. At this point, I've been maintaining like 127 to like 131 around there, you know, because of fluctuation for a couple months now. So I'm going to be answering these questions as someone that is maintaining now. So first question, am I still fasting? Yes and no. I fast probably half of the days out of the week and then I don't for the others. So now that I'm not like actively trying to lose weight, I do sometimes drink like a coffee in the morning with, you know, like 40 calories of almond milk or something like that. And I don't really worry about that and I haven't seen it affect my weight at all. I really only fast now if it works out that day, if I decide and I want an energy drink in the morning then I drink that and I probably won't eat until I have dinner. Do I have any loose skin? I have a lot of loose skin. And I will show you guys because a lot of people have been like, oh, you look so good. Like, what are you doing to not have the loose skin? I most definitely have loose skin. So I will just show you guys the loose skin. So here's like my arm loose skin. So I'm gonna get all up close and personal. So you can see like where I had like the stretch marks how it's all kind of pretty much just dimmed down. I also do have loose skin on my stomach. Right now I'm really bloated and so usually it's a little bit worse, but I do have loose skin. It's not super, super bad, but in certain circumstances it, you know, hangs a little bit, but it's not too, too bad. Loose skin on my legs. This was probably some of the worst stretch marks that I had. So I absolutely do have like a good amount of skin. I also have like a little bit of loose skin just sort of like everywhere, like a little bit on my face, like a little bit on my hands. It's just like everywhere <laughs> at this point has just a little bit of loose skin. But I would say the worst is probably on my legs and also my chest, <laughs> which we'll probably get into, I imagine. Don't let loose skin deter you from losing weight. Am I any happier now? Yes and no. I am happier with how I look and feel for sure. I feel so, so much better. And that's something that I really tried to reiterate with like the weight loss is that what really pushed me was how I feel because I'm able to just like wake up and get going in the morning. I don't always, I don't always feel sore everywhere. I don't always feel lethargic. I just feel like I'm just here and I don't feel like it's a lot of work to just be alive, which is really refreshing because I felt like it was really hard to be alive. Um, so in that aspect, I'm really happy with how I feel like physically, um, and I feel a lot happier with how I look now. However, things like depression and anxiety did not get better with weight loss because those issues don't have anything to do with my weight. And I think it's actually been a little bit harder because for a long time I was able to blame those issues on my weight and now I can't. So it's a little harder to like face those issues now. How has weight loss changed how people act slash react to you. This is speaking from personal experience, not how I feel towards other people or anything like that, but I feel like people like me more now, um, which does kind of suck. 
Um, I feel like I've been getting better business opportunities. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like people just like me better now. I was actually talking about this with my dad and he says it's because I radiate a more positive energy. So that could be it. And he says I f seem like I'm happier and so people just want to be around that more than before when I just seem like a big, you know, gloomy rain cloud. Um, so that could be it. Do I plan to start weightlifting? No, I still don't plan on doing any like heavy exercise. I know this makes a lot of people mad because they say like, well, if you're trying to be healthy, you know, like exercising is part of being healthy and whatever. But I've never said that I strive to be like the healthiest person on the planet. I'm just doing what I can for how I feel. I have been going out and doing some hikes with my boyfriend and friends that I have been like doing, but aside from that, I don't see myself even going to a gym right now. That could change in the future, but that's just not something I feel like doing right now. I feel like I don't have the energy to put into that without taking away energy from a lot of other aspects of my life that I don't want to take away from. Favorite healthy snack. So I really love watermelon and strawberries. I also sometimes will just make like a really, really quick snack of roasted vegetables in my air fryer and then also just use some of my like cashew nacho cheese or like my like plant-based queso that um, are basically made out of like either cashews or like vegetables. So I consider that healthy. Um, do I ever let myself indulge in old food I used to love? If so, how often? I actually hadn't for a really, really, really long time even touched any old food that I used to love. Nowadays, I will maybe have like a couple Oreos, um, maybe like a couple chips, but I try my best to not even buy that stuff because if I have it in the house, I'll snack on it. But if it's not in the house, then there's no way to eat that sort of thing. You know, like it's not good to take away things that you love for your entire life or think that you're never gonna touch that stuff again. If nowadays, like if there's a special edition like Oreo flavor, I'll get those and I can feel okay with that. Having two Oreos is not going to make you gain all the weight back, but you just have to make sure that you can portion it. And I think that's really important. So I guess for like how often would be like if I got like a pack of Oreos, I would eat a couple like every other day until they were gone, but I wouldn't buy that item again for at least like a month or two. So I'm not constantly having bad food in the house. Did I ever consider the keto diet? I actually did try keto and I felt miserable on it. I've been a vegetarian for like 10 years now, but I do try my best to eat primarily plant-based. I would say like four or five days out of the week, I eat entirely plant-based and maybe like two or three, I eat some dairy. And so that was extremely difficult, but personally how my body reacted was really, really bad. I tried it, I think for about two weeks and I know there's like the keto flu and stuff like that, but I felt just really, really heavy. I was losing weight, but I felt miserable. I just felt really heavy. I felt really extra lethargic than I already was. Um, I felt like greasy because of all the fat. I just did not feel good. And I really love carbs. And so I don't think that's a good fit for me because I would be unhappy with what I'm eating like every single meal. Do I think I would have the shape I do now if I didn't get lipo? No. Um, my waist is at like 25 inches now, which I don't think would have happened if I didn't have lipo. I think that my legs would be a little bit smaller and my stomach would be a little bigger had I not had lipo. What is my maintenance calorie limit? So I don't eat up to like a certain limit every single day now. I more or less just sort of eat reasonable portions of healthier food and it sort of changes day to day. So one day I might eat like 1100 calories, another day I might eat 1700. If I have gone on like a hike that day, I might eat 2000. The other days I might just eat 1400 for an entire week. It sort of changes, but the biggest thing is to not let myself binge anything. Am I worried about regaining some weight back? Yes, this is something that's been like really, really hard because sometimes if I'll gain like two pounds, and even if I know in my heart that it's literally because I ate too much salt the day before, it 
panics me a lot and that's just something I'm going to have to get over. For a long time, I, I felt like if I ate one Oreo, I was gonna automatically gain like 50 pounds and then I did eat an Oreo and I didn't, you know? While logically I know it won't happen, it's just hard to still not feel like that. So that's always a worry I'm gonna have and that is why I will always, always, always have to track what I'm eating. If I do gain a pound, I can go back and see, oh, it's because I ate about an extra 3,000 calories last week. Wow, okay, I need to get that under control. I know a lot of people have been talking about like doing like intuitive eating. I just don't think that is for me because I think that I would end up spiraling off. Am I planning on getting a surgery for all the loose skin? Right now, I only ever plan on getting like one more surgery and that is a breast lift. Other than that, I'm not going to do anything about the loose skin on my stomach, my legs, my arms. The only part of the loose skin that really, really bothers me is my chest because I went from 36E to now a 32 double D and that has left a lot of loose skin. So I hope to be able to afford that by the end of the year. That is a goal of mine. Other than that, I don't really plan on doing anything else. I also do not plan on getting implants um, when I do the breast lift. I am okay with a smaller chest. Um, do I ever feel guilty when old friends ask how I lost so much weight after liposuction? Uh, I'm not sure why I would feel guilty about people asking me that considering I have never hid that I got lipo um, and I also put in a lot of work after lipo and I don't care what anyone else thinks about my body but me. Getting lipo and losing weight doesn't affect anyone but me. I don't really care about what old friends or people or anyone thinks and it's not really my fault if people aren't paying attention to the numerous times I've said it. So, do I feel more like myself now that you can wear what I want and better express myself? Yes, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but nowadays I am having so much more fun with makeup, with my hair, with what I'm wearing. I feel like I can be actually myself now because I don't feel like my weight is holding me back for how I look. I feel like mentally now I'm able to just do whatever I want and I'm not worried about what the other people think. I think when I was bigger, I felt more like intrusive. I was always scared of people looking at me and judging me for how much I weighed. But now that I'm comfortable with my weight, I don't really care if people look at me and judge me because they think I like wear too many colors or like I dress weird or have weird hair, nails or whatever. Did I ever think I would lose all the weight? In my head, long term, I knew I would lose the weight, but in the moment, I didn't ever feel like I actually would. When I pictured myself, like 10 years from then, I pictured myself smaller, but in the moment, I never felt like actually doing it. So it was a toss up, I don't know. And I think I only felt like I could do it at some point, like to be determined to date, because I had lost some weight before and I knew that like, I can do it, it is possible, but I just like wasn't ready. I've noticed everyone has something to say about your weight loss and a lot of it has been negative. How do you deal with everyone's negativity and stay focused? People will criticize you no matter what. People will always find something. And if people have a problem that I got lipo and then lost weight, they can think whatever they want about me because in the long run, I'm happier and healthier and they're just bitter. I can't do anything to change what other people think about me, but I can change the way that I think about myself. And if I'm happy with myself, then their opinion doesn't matter. Do it for you. Be healthy for you because if you eat bad, it doesn't affect them. If you eat good, it doesn't affect them, but it affects you. So you're the only person you need to think about. Did I lose any hair when I lost weight? No, I never really lost any hair. I think because I was eating healthy, I was probably getting the majority of like my vitamins and minerals and stuff like that through vegetables and mainly vegetables um, that I needed. Um, and then on top of it, I did at some point start taking vitamins and so that I think that helped supplementing anything I was missing. How do I stay motivated and keep from binging on junk? Like I talked about, my motivation was basically how I feel now. I wouldn't ever wanna go back to feeling how I did before. Um, and to keep from eating a bunch of junk is, I don't buy a bunch of junk, I don't. <laughs> put myself in those sort of situations. 
don't buy it and be like, oh, I'll just have a couple. If you know you can't keep to a serving size, you do not buy it. And also a rule I make for myself is do not go out specifically to buy junk food. I don't allow myself to go out specifically and just buy ice cream or just go and get something bad. Um, if you can keep to don't buy junk food and don't go out only to buy junk food, the less junk you eat, the less junk you'll crave in my opinion. I know a lot of people stick to a rule of you can eat the apple or nothing. And if you're not eating the apple, then you're not actually hungry. How often do I drink drinks that are not water? Nowadays, I will either have coffee or an energy drink per day. I'm sort of useless without caffeine. And then I have a Diet Coke with dinner every single day. Um, so yeah, so about twice a day. <laughs> Did I have high blood pressure at my highest weight? I have sort of had high blood pressure almost as far as I can remember, even when I was small, high blood pressure just runs in my family. Um, so that is something that I've always really had to watch out for, but it did get worse with the weight gain. I did have very, very high blood pressure. And that definitely was something that did motivate me to lose weight because my grandma did have a stroke very, very young because of her blood pressure. So I knew that I needed to keep mine under control if I wanted to live a long, happy life. <laughs> What size am I? I am about a two or a zero depending on where I shop. I can fit into a double zero in American Eagle, but they definitely do do I think like it's called like vanity sizing where the sizes are lower to make you like feel better about yourself. But I did just try on some like Levi's and stuff like that recently and I fit into a zero, but a two looked better. And that is pretty much all of the questions that I got. A lot of them were really repetitive, and so I assume that people haven't watched my previous videos. Um, so if there wasn't something that seems really obvious that I didn't answer here, please go watch my other videos. It's already really hard for me to put these sort of videos up because I just get attacked nonstop. So when I do put them up, I do hope that people do watch them. Other than that, I am going to just leave you with two meals that I had last Last week if you guys really like this video I am definitely down to do a lot more like food related videos maybe like what I eat in an entire week or maybe low-cost meals or stuff like that I just worry so much about putting too much different content on this channel since most people I feel like want nail videos and so when I do other things like not even beauty related, I worry that it's gonna like turn people off from my channel. But really let me know, give this video a like if you guys are okay with that, um, because that's something that I can definitely do. If there's anything I did not answer and have not already answered, do leave it down below and I will try my best to get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time, bye. So today I am just making burgers and a side, so, what I like to do with basically everything that I make is always have a side. So I'll usually start that first because it's usually some sort of vegetable. So today I'm going to do asparagus. Parchment paper is going to be your friend. This makes cleanup and everything like that so much easier. This is some thick asparagus. <laughs> and I do this before I make anything else because usually roasted vegetables take the longest out of everything. I know a lot of people don't even like cooking, so do this just as quickly, as simply as possible. So, you know, for this I'll cut off the stems. And then just use some sort of spray oil. I'm just using this like spray. I can't believe it's not butter right now because I'm out of my normal coconut oil. But I'll just basically give it a couple sprays. And then I'll choose my seasoning. What I go for a lot of the time is lemon pepper and voila. I will pop these in for like, I don't know, half an hour. It depends on what you're cooking. I just kind of go by sight and I'll just pop that in. I sort of feel like when you have a side to go with your dinner, it feels like you're eating more because if you just make the burger, you only have that one flavor and that's all you're eating. So it's like, oh, I only ate the little, you know, one item. But if you have that and asparagus or that and broccoli or whatever, you can just be like, oh, I had, it'll seem more like a more well-rounded meal. When I'm like not filming and stuff, that'll take me literally four minutes, maybe. And then for my burgers today, I'm going to be using the Beyond Burgers. A lot of people ask me about like the certain type of like fake meat or whatever that I would recommend. 
like what so the best these are a little pricey but it is probably the best tasting and like they are super super high in protein i know a lot of people get concerned about that and i just make them in my kitchen on a like skillet sort of thing these beyond burgers are like really realistic looking they're really weird and then while this is cooking on here, this pan is big enough for me to add some other stuff that I'm also going to cook. I'm gonna do also these portobello mushroom caps to go with the burger. And I'm going to just cook this all together so the flavors can all like marinate and stuff. But I try to not take up too many pans. So, you know, just cook whatever else you're cooking on here. If it's all going on the same thing, you're fine. All right, and then for the bun and everything else, I am going to just be using regular old hamburger buns today, but if you want to make it healthier and less calories, then opt for a tortilla. These ones are like only 50 calories, flavored spinach and herb, really good. So if you wanna cut down on calories, and honestly, these are much healthier, but I want it to all be like handheld today because I'm using the mushrooms. Okay, so as far as toppings go, I put down a little bit of spinach, and then for cheese, I'm going to use some like queso nacho style cheese because I just like it on burgers, especially when I'm not putting a lot of other like mayo or ketchup or anything like that. I feel like it gives a good cheese flavor while also not making it dry. I'm trying this one today, but normally I use this brand. This brand is really good. You can buy it online I, or at like Whole Foods, and you get a ton for the calories and it's not bad for you um, or you can use like a sliced one like this this is also pretty low in calories 60 calories for this so yeah I'm gonna use this today but there are some other options mustard is also another good like really low calorie condiment that you can put on Obviously you can tailor it to how you like, but this is basically my burger that I'm gonna eat. I'll put whatever the calories are right here, and I will see you in the next one. So today I'm gonna show you guys what I make probably every single week for about half of the days. I, a lot of the time, really just make a bunch of vegetables and then put said vegetables either in like a wrap or I just eat them and dip them in some sort of sauce. I like to dip them in the nacho cheese that I always show. I like to make an agave mustard sauce a lot of the time as well. So yeah, let's get on with it. So preheat oven to 450. Anything lower won't really like roast them. If you're not wanting to turn the oven on for like an extended period of time, I can understand it's summer, it's hot. Um, an air fryer is also a good idea, but fresh vegetables don't cook as well in the air fryer So I would recommend going with some frozen ones instead So I know a lot of people do like vegetable calories don't count, but I absolutely count them I think a calorie is a calorie no matter where it comes from so I do count mine I like to just put everything on one pan put it in when you have vegetables are really really close together that will like half steam them, half roast them. So if you really want roasted ones, make sure you space them out. And my process is basically cut up vegetables, put them in the bowl, put a little bit of oil on them, and then season them, put them on the pan. And then I try to cut things up based on how long it takes to cook. So I'll cut the carrots and the potatoes a lot smaller. Then I will cut, say, the broccoli and the onion and the cauliflower you know it's just it's a guessing game that i just do every single day it's fine and here's how it all came out i'm having the queso that i showed and david's having the nacho cheese or the whatever the white version i did also make a beyond sausage because i realized i didn't make quite enough vegetables so yeah 